Um, now let's look at the stochastic simulation option. Um, and so I've got an example here again, um, sort of briefly annotated using a note. Um, so in this, in for stochastic simulation, as I mentioned, um, you you assign a, a distribution and range for uh, the input variables that you want to uh, investigate. So in this case, let's say we want to look at we want to look at the impact of um, inverter cost and module cost on on the PPA price, and we want to get a sense of which one is more uh, has a more significant impact on the on that metric. Um, so uh, the process is sort of similar to what we did in for pair metrics. So we have to choose input variables. If if you have a lot of input variables and there are, you, you want to um, define correlations between any of them. You can do that using the correlations. Um, and then you choose the outputs. Um, so we'll, um, we have our same input variable chooser. And I already set this up. So the, the variables are already chose, uh, uh, checked. Um, but you can filter using by typing um, in the same way. And then once you choose the variable, then you either you, you select it here and then either edit or just double click it. And then you can choose your di distribution and, and the parameters for each distribution. So I'll use a normal distribution um, uh, with those parameters. Uh, and, then, and then I choose my outputs here. And then once I do that, then I can click compute samples here to generate this table showing the the values that Sam came up with based on my distribution here. Um, and then, again, I click Run Simulations up here, not Simulate in, in the bottom. So I click Run Simulations. And there are my results. So I see um, a table. I can close this to get it out of the way. A table, so the for each sample, the samples are numbered 1 to 100. Um, and, and then I have results for, for each of those samples here. And then we get the delta R squared and beta for, for each metric. Now, um, this, this, uh, this stochastic simulation uh, feature here is not as, as well developed um, as some of the others and is something that we'll, we're will continue to improve. So those of you who are using it, we'd really appreciate uh, your suggestions for improving it. Um, uh, we'd, we'd prefer to make improvements based on what you suggest and what, what we think might work well, um, although we will do that as well. Um, but I'll just, just uh, show you a couple of tips here. Um, if you want to get this data out of SAM and into, say, Excel, it, you have to manually uh, cut and paste. We don't have the export feature here. So click the column heading, press Control-C on your keyboard, then go to Excel, and click a cell, and press Control-V on your keyboard. And that will copy and paste the data. So a little clunky, but um, functional. 